One table, one function, and many errors to fix. Today, we will face the most common errors that might happen when using XLOOKUP, and we will fix all of them. Let's get the ball rolling. Hi, my name is Christian. Using functions in Excel is amazing. It makes working with spreadsheets a million times easier. But the dark side of the functions are the errors. This Excel file contains two spreadsheets with tables. The first one is a spreadsheet that contains sales data for ice cream products and the other spreadsheet contains inventory data for the same ice cream products. In the sales table, I use the XLOOKUP function to search for some data. And it seems that in return, I got quite a lot of errors. These errors are the most common ones that can appear when using this function. Let's face them step by step. The first error we are going to face is the hash NA. This error occurs when the function cannot find a match for the lookup value. It indicates that the value being searched for is not present in the lookup array. Let me show you a couple of scenarios for this error. The first scenario is placed within the product name column. For the first row, which is the um, a banana ice cream, I use the XLOOKUP formula to look up for the product name depending on the product code in here. So what I did in this function, I used the B2 cell as the lookup value. Then I used the range from B2 to B85 within the inventory spreadsheet, which is the product ID column within the inventory spreadsheet. Then for the return array, I used the range C2 to C85 from the same inventory spreadsheet, which is the product name. So in return, I received the value I was searching for. But what happened down here? Let's check one by one the functions. So for the third row of the table, uh, everything is fine. But as we go down, we can see that after a while we get the hash and a error and by the end of the table, it got worse and worse. So if you go back up, we can see that for my lookup array and return array, I don't have a static range. My ranges are dynamic. And when I go down with my XLOOKUP function, my range changes. And at some point, which is the row 31, I got a range from B32 to B115. And here from B32 to 115, we didn't uh, get the right product code. So what I should have done in here is to create a static range. Let's do that. Let's select the range and press on F4. This way we insert the dollar symbol and we can do the same thing for the return array. Press F4. And now if we drag down the function, we have no errors. Okay. So next, let's face the second scenario with the hash NA error, which is in the column G. So let's see what I did in here. I was searching for the banana text and then I used the lookup array, the inventory range from C2 to C85. And then I used as a return array range G2 till G85 which is again the right column for the acquisition price. So this row is correct. Then what I did in the next one. In the next one, I've written manually the strawberry name and then again the necessary range for looking up the acquisition price. But then I got an error. What happened in here? It seems that I've written properly the cotton candy ice cream. But if we look closely here in the text I've written and here in the actual text, which we can verify within the inventory spreadsheet, 
let's press Ctrl F and search for the cotton candy, which is in here. If we double click and we check the actual text, we can see here we have a space, a space which I did not include uh, into my lookup function. And because of this space, the lookup is not able to find my uh, value. So if I add a space in here, everything is fine. Then when we get to the Rocky Road ice cream, I think it might be the same situation. If I put a space in here, then I have an error. Let's go again into the inventory spreadsheet. Let's copy the text from here, Control F and paste the Rocky Road. Here, it seems that we have two spaces instead of just product name. So if we go back and if we put in here two spaces, then we get again an error. Let's check it once again. Let's try to copy the Rocky Road and try and paste it in here. Now it's correct. So it seemed that there was something wrong with my text. So in this scenario, we got messy data, which gave us this error. What I would suggest when using the XLOOKUP function is to first clean a little bit the data to make sure that the fact that the data is messy won't affect our function usage. And the next thing I would recommend is to never use a static uh, text written in here. So a better option would just be to select the cell B2 instead of this text. So let's write here uh, B2 and enter. It's actually C2. And if we drag down, then everything is fine and it's even faster than just writing manually here the values okay so we've done with this error let's go to the next one the next error is hash ref this error occur when the reference argument in the lookup function is invalid it could happen if the specified lookup array or the return array is deleted or moved so let's check our function and you can see that the first mistake I did is to write a dynamic uh, range in here for the lookup array. We will correct that by copying this part of the function. And let's just drag it down to make sure that all the functions with this error are, are uh, changed. And then instead of this hash ref, we need to insert the proper range for the return array. As I told you previously, this hash ref happens when we insert a range, but then that range or that column disappears. So let's do an exercise. Let's write here banana and here let's write ice cream and here let's write price right in here too. So now let's write here uh, banana and here we will want to search for the price. So we will write equal x lookup. I will press tab and my function automatically gets written in here. The lookup value will be banana comma. Then the lookup array will be here and the return array will be here. So I get two. If I delete this column, I get a ref error. So this is what happened to this rows. I look up a value from a column and then I deleted that column and this error happened. So to correct that, I just need to insert the proper range instead of there. I will just copy it from here and paste it in here. And now let's drag down the formula. So now we finished with this error. The hash name error occurs 
if the lookup function name is misspelled or if the function is not recognized. So in this case, we need to check up the function and make sure if our lookup function is written properly. If we get a closer look, we can see that I have written wrong the lookup function. I have written an A instead of a U. So if I correct it, my error disappears. So let's try and drag down a corrected function and the errors are corrected. Let's get to the next one. The next error we are going to handle is hash div. In column G, I used also a lookup function and it seems that the acquisition price is zero. So then on the H column, which calculates the margin in percent, I calculated it by uh, subtracting from the price per unit sold the acquisition price and then I divided them by the acquisition price. So because in here I have a zero, I got this error. To correct this error, I would suggest that we replace the hash div error with something else, with a zero or even better with a blank content. So what we can do in here is to write the if error function. So let's write in here if error, open round bracket. Our value is this whole x lookup function and value if error would be just a uh, space. So this way we get rid of the error, but we also don't put in here any wrong data. Let's get to the next error, which is hash value. This error occurs when a numeric value is expected, but the result cannot be calculated. So in this situation, I try to calculate the margin and percentage. And here I should have a number, but instead I have any character. So when my xlookup function got this character and my whole function tried to calculate it, it just got this error. So a way to remove it, this is first thing to make sure we don't have this data into our uh, source table. So let's get into the inventory table. And here within the acquisition price, we can see we have some dots and we have some zeros and even a blank text. What we could do here is we could change just manually this text to nothing. We could delete it. We could insert zero or whatever. But what I would suggest doing is to insert a function that will check if the content from this column is a number. And if it's a number, then everything is okay. If it's not a number, then insert another thing. Let's clean the data in here, write equal, if open round bracket is number, open again round bracket, then choose the acquisition price, close round bracket. Then we, we have inserted the logical test, which checks if it's a number, then we need to insert the value if the condition is true. So if the condition is true, we need to insert this value. If it's false, we need to insert nothing. Let's try and drag down this formula. Now we can copy and paste the content in here. We got rid of the dot and all the other text. We can delete this now. And if we go in here, then we have again a value error. We could try again and replace the space with the zero. So let's try it here. Let's try it now. So it seems that there's something wrong actually in this formula. 
So it's not finding the value because here I inserted the wrong cell. I would need to check. So I am looking for C25. Then my range is C2 to C85, which is in here. Then I look for the C25, which is correct. Here I am looking for G26, which is this value. This thing is not correct. I need to replace it with C. So I can drag down. So now as I've changed the text from here to a zero, I get the div error. And we know that to solve this, we just need to insert an if error and replace it with blank space. So we could just drag down the function that we created earlier. So now we don't have any errors. This thing is not okay in any way because we are not supposed to have products with zero acquisition price. So when doing any analytics, I would suggest that we just delete uh, this data because it's not relevant at all. So let's just delete it. And I hope that the process of fixing these errors will serve as a proof why cleaning data properly and getting clean data is so important. It's a good idea whenever you get a data set to clean it a little bit, to trim the content or to delete the unrelevant data or to filter it and so on. Because you might observe that mostly the errors occur when the data is messy or when there are some mistakes within the function. Which error do you encounter the most when using XLOOKUP? Leave the comments in the section down below. Also, if you found the tutorial useful, give it a thumbs up. You might also enjoy my other videos. I wish you a lovely day. See you.